in Sepelemo. In Svetri Mimonaju. Ja. Kam Sepelemo? Smo, smo že klejemo do nalej. Is Amsterdam doable in two days? We stayed there three nights, but in reality, it's only two full days. We arrived late Thursday afternoon and left on Sunday morning since our flight was at noon. So effectively, just two full days. We bought the 72-hour I Amsterdam card. No worries about entrance fees, transportation and anything else. We made good use of it and definitely saw things we might not have otherwise. So the question of whether the card is worth or not, the answer is definitely yes. Where to stay? There are plenty of hotels in Amsterdam, some quite cheap, but remember, you get what you pay for. If it is cheap, if no other, you might have to walk a bit to the nearest public transportation stop. Yes, I think the variant is a hotel. On foot? Definitely. The center of Amsterdam isn't extremely large. You can cover a lot on foot, even more with a bike. A Rijksmuseum. Pictures and videos tell all, plenty to see. It takes half a day for thorough visit, but we shorten it, focusing on the main attractions. Diamond Museum, right next to Rix Museum. Yes, worth a visit. At first, you are not sure if they are real or not. Well, you are still not entirely convinced until you see the cutters at work and the prices of the items offered. Beer. They have good ones, quite a high quality selection everywhere, and the other types of beer prevail, lagers are thankfully in the background. The Netherlands is one of the lands of a beer, Amsterdam even has a quarter where breweries are. Stores. There are plenty. But not that you could buy anything special, which you couldn't find elsewhere. Uh, alcohol, ne? Ne? But tole pa ni problema, ne? Coffee shops. Yes, those two. Except in the center, 
There aren't many elsewhere. Red Light District, one of the landmarks, the first sight of a lady in the window standing just a meter away from you is quite shocking. I wonder how much business they actually have. building. So why I say that? Well, Booking.com is a Dutch uh, company. We sold it to the Americans for 55, 60%, something like that. And you can see the Dutch people, if we build a, house, a building, we lose, use a lot of concrete, a lot of steel. By boat. Oh yes, it's worth it. You see a lot. The guide is entertaining. But there are quite a lot of people on board. And if you are not among the first, you won't sit by the window. So, in the shots, you'll have German heads included. Tunnel that connects Amsterdam North with the city center. Bike, ooh, that's an experience. Especially since it was our first time on a tandem bike, which would take a day or two to get used to. But since Instagram photos are more important than safety, and because fortune favors the bold, we tried that too. And it worked. We also realized that cyclists are indeed kings in Amsterdam. Chinatown. We searched for it a bit, first visited by bike and found out that there are streets where even cyclists are not allowed. Then we came on foot to eat. We chose a Malaysian restaurant. Crooked houses. On photos and videos you can't really see how crooked they are, but they had to insert a cover between, otherwise there would be a gap between the houses.
food? Oh yes, they have plenty of restaurants, various cuisines. Most of them, to avoid searching, can be found in Chinatown. Food prices? Around 40 euros per person with a drink or two, mostly similar everywhere. So, this was our two-day story of Amsterdam. I hope you enjoyed it. Oh,